Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. This is more of a basis function, I suppose, than an ABOP developer function, but I'm going to show you guys today how to do it. Um, you know, if your basis guy is not familiar with this, then maybe you can show him this video. Maybe you can uh, accomplish this. Or if you work in a company where you are kind of your basis guy and the ABOP guy and you're a do-it-all person, well, then this video is for you. So, we created a web dem pro in an earlier uh, tutorial video that I created. It's just simple web dem pro. If we right click on our web dem pro application, click test, it'll take it take us to it in the browser. And we can see there's nothing fancy at all. It just says hello web dem pro. So we created this one view with this one component. And that's uh that's all this program does is it simply displays a caption on the screen. So a lot of folks don't like the idea of this web dem pro application URL being a mile long so you know we don't want to distribute this to an end user especially you know someone within our company I mean host name slash program would be a whole lot better well we can actually create what's known as an, an alias in SAP through transaction SICF and this will allow us to take this ungodly extremely long URL and shorten it to something more memorable for users so in order to do that we need to go to transaction SE80 and then in SE80 actually I'm, I'm lying to you we need to go to transaction SICF this is the internet communications framework transaction that shows you if we do service here and execute it's going to show us a tree view of all of the different URLs and endpoints and the different services that they map to that are running in our SAP system. So in order to see our web dempro we created, when we create the, um, the web dempro application itself, we're going to actually, a service will be created under here for us, under our host, SAP BC, scroll way down till you find web dempro then it's going to be created in the SAP namespace unless you guys have created your web dem pro in a, in a registered namespace you know maybe your company registered a namespace or you're an SAP partner and you, your company has their own development namespace so you'd find it there now when we expand this SAP node we need to come over here and scroll for a while because this is everything in the SAP namespace that is a web dem pro application or HTTP service so we scroll all the way down to the Z's Let's move this over a little bit in the tree view. We can see Z Test Web Dem Pro, which is our test application. We can double click on it and get some more information about it. We see that it maps to the it maps to this path, default host, which we saw earlier was VHC AL NPLCI slash SAP slash BC slash Web Dem Pro slash SAP, and then our service endpoint is Z Test Web Dem Pro. Well, that's a little unsightly to give to our users. So what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. I'll back all the way out and show you from the get-go. And again, same transaction, SICF. Go ahead and add it here to the favorite so you can see what this is called. This is the HTTP Service Hierarchy Maintenance. So we'll go to Transaction SICF and Hierarchy Type. Instead of looking at services, which is what we did the last time we ran this report, we're going to look for aliases. So if we execute, we can see under Default Host, uh, SAP has provided a couple in here. Uh, already but we want to create one under here as well so if we go to default host <coughs> excuse me right click we can do create external alias so let's do this let's go to create external alias we have to give it a slash before anything else and then we can call it whatever we want so this will be a URL um, something that I'm um, going down here in description 3 this is what your URL will look like so it'll be HTTP or HTTPS, VHC, ALNPL, CI. The port that this is uh, server is going to be running on for the HTTP service, which is going to be 8,000 in this case, I think. might be 8080. And then our endpoint. So Z, I'll say Z test. So up here, I'll do Z test. So by creating this, well, not test, Z test. It's actually, since this SAP node and its uh, children are in the SAP namespace, uh, you can actually do whatever you want here. So I could say test. I don't need to do Z test, but you know, I, I like to keep things Z test 
just to make sure I'm always in you know the customer namespace so it'll generate a URL like this once we get done so description I'll just give it a description I'll just say test alias then we need to go to target element tab click on target element we're gonna select our actual service that we went to earlier so I'll go SAP well default host SAP BC scroll on down for web den pro scroll to SAP expand that node again that's gonna be a huge huge amount of children under that node so we'll just scroll way down here expand this to make sure we're grabbing the right one so this is my ztest web den pro that I had earlier double click it it's gonna assign the target element here so we can see instead of all this the only thing the user will have to know after the host is this which granted you're probably gonna give them a shortcut to it or something anyway so if I click on store so we've got ztest now if we back out we can see ztest here I can say test external alias I'll go ahead and just allow this is because I'm not using HTTPS I'm gonna bypass this but typically your user would come straight to this screen where they would log in or either if they already were logged in let's go ahead and log in it would take them straight to your application so let's get rid of all this this simple URL here with the protocol HTTPS is going to be everything you need to give to your end user so that's a lot more clean um, actually let's go ahead and so this will be the whole URL you need to give to your user if we run it we go straight to our web Pro application that I demonstrated in the first part of the video so that's one thing we could do you guys might be saying well how can I do something even more simple right how do I do something like um, let's say oh, I don't know what's a good web Pro application let's say uh, reports dot my company dot com maybe we want a user to go to something like this well that can all be handled by your network team to uh, set up reverse proxy open up you know your network to to actually use this subdomain or something like that or maybe even a slash and then there's a redirect that can be set up by your network team but um this test z test right here this alias is going to be the closest thing you're going to get to a very very clean url for your web Pro applications so if uh, what i'm saying doesn't make any sense please feel free to leave a comment and shoot me an email any of that if you have any questions leave them in the comments as well and i will be happy to get back to you as soon as possible just know that this can make your web Pro urls go from this to this so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please leave me a like give me a subscribe it really helps me out and it lets me know the types of videos that you guys want to see so i can continue to make more like them so thank you all so much we'll see you in the next video